Hello and welcome to the BMC Atrium Core 8.1 Service Pack 2 What's New video. In this release, the primary focus has been around Atrium Integrator, while enhancements are also made to the Reconciliation Engine and the Normalization Engine. Let's first look at the Atrium Integrator enhancements. With this release, failover support is provided for Atrium Integrator Engine. A new export configuration tool is available for migrating Atrium Integrator jobs from one computer to the another. You can now verify transformations in the BMC Atrium Integrator Spoon at a job level. Also, variable qualification support is now available for the CMDB input step. Let's see what exactly these enhancements are. You can now configure the Atrium Integrator Engine in a failover mode. Please note, failover is supported only for the Atrium Integrator Engine which is deployed with BMC Remedy AR System Server installation. The Atrium Integrator component that is installed later deploys the plugins required to transfer data in BMC Atrium CMTB. Now let's see how the configuration is done. After you install BMC Remedy AR System Server on all the nodes, all the Atrium Integrator Engine entries are updated in the AR System Server Group Operation Ranking form. You can now see Atrium Integrator listed under the Operation column. You must update the ranking to define your primary and secondary servers and then restart the BMC Remedy AR System Server. After you set the ranking, the UDM config form is updated with the primary server as default. Verify if the primary server is set to default. When configuring Atrium Integrator Engine in a failover mode, consider the following. Failover is supported only for the primary server. So, if the primary server is up and if the secondary server goes down, all the jobs and transformations running on the secondary server will not be failed over. For example, if for manual load balancing purpose, you specify job A to run on Atrium Integrator Engine 2, which is the secondary server, and if Atrium Integrator Engine 2 goes down while Atrium Integrator Engine 1, which is the primary server, is up, job A will not be failed over. Also, suspended mode is not supported for Atrium Integrator Engine. At one time, engines on all the nodes will be running. Now let's see how job failover happens. A new UDM CARTE pending form is added to manage the job and transformation failover. This form contains information of all the new and in-progress jobs and transformations. So when the primary server goes down, the secondary server is set to default in the UDM colon config form. The secondary server then refers to the UDM CARTE pending form and picks up all the new and the in-progress jobs of the primary server. Here, Atrium Integrator Engine 2 will run the job and transformations from the beginning and not from where Atrium Integrator Engine 1 had processed. For example, if a job was scheduled to run for 6 hours on Atrium Integrator Engine 1 and if Atrium Integrator Engine 1 went down after 3 hours, Atrium Integrator Engine 2 will again run the job from the beginning. So the job will now take 9 hours to complete. Atrium Integrator Engine 2 will not copy the cache from the Atrium Integrator Engine 1. Fresh cache will be generated on the Atrium Integrator Engine 2. While the Atrium Integrator Engine 2 reruns the job, no duplicates are created. Thus, there is no impact on the integrity of the data in BMC Atrium CMDB. Also, while Atrium Integrator Engine 2 is running the failed over job or the transformation, if Atrium Integrator Engine 1 comes up, the job or the transformation will be still completed on the Atrium Integrator Engine 2. However, any new request will be served by the Rank 1 server thereafter. Also, if the Atrium Integrator Engine 2 server goes down after the Atrium Integrator Engine 1 is up and running, the in-progress job or transformation that was picked up from the Atrium Integrator Engine 1 will not fail over again. Moving on to the next announcement. Earlier, the development to production command line utility was available for migrating jobs. You can now migrate jobs from one computer to the another using the export configuration tool. To launch the tool, in the toolbar, click the export configuration tool icon. And then, in the source server details section, provide the source server details. You can migrate all or selective Atrium Integrator jobs. With this tool, you can migrate Atrium Integrator job schedules. This was not possible using the command line utility. The target version must always be equal to or greater than the source.
you can migrate 8.0 and later Atrium Integrator jobs to a computer where the higher version of Atrium Integrator is installed. However, you will have to run the utility from a computer where you have BMC Atrium Core 8.1 Service Pack 2 or later version installed. Using the command line utility, you could migrate jobs only between same versions. As you can see, the job export status is displayed in the status column. All the successfully exported jobs will be displayed in the Atrium Integrator console. Moving on. Earlier, you had to verify each transformation individually. You can now verify Atrium Integrator transformations at job level using the Job Verify feature. At a given time in an environment, a job can have many transformations. Using the Verify Job Transformation feature, you can create a report of issues categorized as errors, warnings, remarks and success. Before running the actual transformation, running the Job Verify feature enables you to identify the possible errors in the transformation automatically. It saves you the task of manually verifying each and every contained transformation. Moving on with the next Earlier, the CMDB input step only supported constant qualification. With this release, the CMDB input step now also supports variable qualification. The fields from the newly added steps are evaluated at runtime. Based on this qualification, CMDB input fetches the data from CMDB. You can use the new qualification builder to create qualifications. Here, you can map fields from the previous step, wherein CMDB input step can take multiple inputs from the previous step. Now let's take a look at the reconciliation engine enhancements. Earlier, you had to copy the definitions file to a clipboard and then save them to an ARX file. You can now directly export the reconciliation engine jobs and dataset definitions to an .arx file. Simply select the definition and click save to file and the .arx file will be created. On the same lines, normalization engine is enhanced to directly export and import normalization configurations. Earlier you had to copy the normalization configurations to a clipboard and then save them to an XML file. You can now directly export the normalization configurations to XML file. Simply select the configuration and click save to file. The XML file will be created. For importing, Earlier, you had to copy the normalization configurations from the XML file and then process it for import. You can now directly select the normalization engine configurations file and process it for import. Browse for the file and click import. For more information, refer to the online documentation. Thank you for watching.